Today we've been invited by the NFU to attend some conferences to talk to farmers about how to keep safe when they're operating around our assets. So this is a, a chance to um, sort of get a bit of a reset, come to a, a different farm, see a familiar scene but try to think about yourself as a, as a farmer or a farm worker. What are the situations that you're putting yourself into that, um, that could be hazardous? Coming from that farming background myself, from when I was growing up, safety was kind of there, but not really, you know, it's sort of like that afterthought. Whereas now it's definitely there and you, and you see the accidents that can happen from it or the kind of mishaps where we do catch a line. Knowing things like call 105 for SSEN in the event of any sort of a issue with the, with the power network, these are things that people might have been able to Google or might vaguely know about, but now it should be front and centre. They should remember exactly what they learned on this briefing today. Our feedback's been great. Everybody has really appreciated the advice and really taken something from it, um, which is good as long as we're, we're giving that safety message. If it saves one person getting injured, it's all worthwhile. We all can forget the lines become invisible and suddenly, you know, an accident can happen and they're like, where did that come from? And I think that's the biggest thing for today is just to stop, have a think. When something changes, just look around on what you're doing and how you can stay safe. And that's the key message really is to all go home safe. I've got a young daughter and uh, it would just, you know, I think about now much more, you know, what I do and how that affects her and, and my family. So it's, it's not just about you, it's about others around you. There's nothing more important than getting up to be able to do your job again tomorrow and you want to be able to go home to your family at night. If anyone wants more advice on what to look out for, then please go on the SSEM website. Alternatively, if you've got any concerns about asset damage or safety concerns, then ring 105. There's also lots of good stuff on the Energy Networks Association website.